Hey, yo, Z, man, this is a double episode. So after this first episode, Brooklyn and Harlem, Beef in Maryland, make sure you check out the next episode, which is me telling a story about East Harlem. You heard? Z, man, Suicide Polo with the Ski Man, you already snow goons. Send me an email at the gempopllc at gmail.com if you need some type of promo, you want to do some type of business, holla at me with a bag. You heard, follow me on that Instagram, The Real St. Lads. I'm about to hit that 15,000 followers. I'm looking like a little something. I'm looking like a little something on Instagram, baby. You heard? But yeah, man, yeah, man. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss no new episodes that I drop and you don't be out here slipping, slacking, and lacking, looking crazy. You feel me? Not knowing what's going on on these YouTube streets that I run. Know what I mean? And make sure you check that playlist, new and recent episodes only. And you can catch up and binge watch about 300 episodes I dropped in the last year and a half. I'm a machine. I don't know about these other YouTubers. You heard? But I'm a machine, baby. So get at me, man. If you love what I'm doing on this channel, absolutely love what I'm doing. Feel free to send me a cash app donation at dollar sign gem pop fam. You already snow closure. Told you I was going to use that. Let's get it. Awesome shit. Yo, as soon as the kid hit the corner, them shit started going off. Boop, 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 boop. It was like three guns going off. His gun, two other niggas' gun. As I found out the story later. So it's mad shots going off. Boop, 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 boop. So we run up the hill. I'm like, oh shit. Niggas is letting off. Yeah, um. These kids, from, these kids from my projects and shit, I ain't gonna mention no names, you know, everybody know the story, you know, once they hear this shit, you know what I'm saying, so, it was these kids from my projects and shit, you know, they knew, they knew these kids out of town that was getting money, but mind you, I used to see these kids come to my block, you know what I'm saying, they used to come to my block, shoot big dice games, niggas losing 3,000, 7,000, niggas winning 10,000, 5,000, and ain't, ain't nobody trying to do nothing to them niggas, you heard, and where I'm from, that shit, they, niggas get busy over there, so I knew these kids was respected, so they used to come around, come around, and it was this kid I was messing with, me and him was cool, and he used to fuck with them and shit, so he was like, yo, you wanna, he was like, he was out there fucking with them niggas, he was like, yo, you wanna go out of town, whatever, woo, woo, woo. I'm like, hell yeah, whatever, so I goes, I, I'm, I'm setting up, like, all right, man, let me know when you ready, you heard, so son, let me know when you ready, all right, we're gonna be ready by like, whatever, at the end of the weekend, so I'm kicking in the shit, I'm doing my little thing and shit, talking to my people, it's like, yo, I'm about to go out of town, whatever, when I come back, woo, 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 niggas like, all right, bet, so it was a couple of OGs out there, they was like, nah, man, don't go out of town, man, you already got the block, man, you don't need to go out of town, whatever, whatever, I'm like, nah, I'm going, because, you know, whatever, so boom, niggas come to the block, like, yo, you ready, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready, whatever, whatever, so niggas give me like three, four hundred dollars. Like, yo, that's whatever. Woo, woo, woo. Jump in the whip with these niggas. We out. Go to the hill, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. Niggas set it up. Put it in the trunk, whatever. Jump on the bus. Get it down there. We jump on the bus. Then niggas get in the hotel, put it together. So niggas is whatever. We, we chilling and shit. We kicking it and whatever. So niggas like, yo, come on. We going to the block. So niggas take me to the block. I'm like, damn, this shit crazy but you see like mad niggas posted up on the block like new york in the 80s like shit crazy out there so we go to the block i look at the block i'm like this block this shit called it's called jonathan street this is a block in um hagerstown maryland called jonathan street shit click money money right so i get on the block whatever whatever niggas is showing me how to work the block like yo this how i go whatever niggas come to me in cars whatever they mainly white niggas be copying whatever whatever so i'm like all right whatever i know how to get money anyway so i'm like whatever so we go so i'm out there shit just like i'm out there the third day money getting low so i'm like yeah, i need to get on so niggas put me on whatever whatever i'm out there hustling woo, 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 woo. like the next day go by i finish everything like yo here yeah. I gave him everything. Like, hey, like, hey, you want to take your PC? I'm like, nah. Boop, 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 boop. Nigga gave me my PC. Shit was like 1200 
we heard. I gave the nigga like 26. Nigga gave me like half of the shit. So he like, yo, just what you gonna call it for me like two more times. And then after that, you do your own thing. So I'm like, all right, bet. I did what the nigga asked me to do for two more times. And then I'm, I got something from him. And then after that, I practically was out there doing my own thing. <laughs> So I'm out there and shit, chilling. I learned the ropes. So I'm out there doing my thing and shit, meeting people out there, fucking with bitches and all that and shit. So I'm hanging out with these niggas one day on the block. So I'm on the block with these niggas hanging out one day. So some nigga come through. I'm like, yo, so what's up, son? What you need? He's like, yo, I need whatever. So I take him in the alley. So I'm going in the alley. I hate these two cars. Pull up. <laughs> niggas hot back. Put up, put up. Yo, I hear niggas like, yo, I ain't got nothing, I ain't got nothing. So these are the kids that I'm with. I hear their voices like, yo, I ain't got nothing, man. Whatever, nah, man. So I come out the fucking alley. I see these niggas like laying on the ground and shit, whatever. These niggas digging their pockets and shit, whatever, whatever. Nigga point the grip at me. He like, I'm like, he like, yo, you know these niggas? I'm like, I don't know these bitch ass niggas. So I just walk off, whatever, whatever. Niggas let me go. I didn't know them, but niggas let me go. I walk off, whatever. We'll, we'll walk the other way. Then I, I, I walk like three blocks down, come the other way. Then I, I come back to the block. I see the kids like buy little projects and shit over there. So. I'm like, yo, who the fuck was that? Yo, what the fuck happened? Who was them niggas? They was like, yo, <laughs> these some niggas from Brownsville, some Brooklyn niggas, them niggas is Crips, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, what? He like, yeah. So like, yo, they be out here sticking niggas up, woo, 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 whatever. What year you said this so once like, again? You said what? What year you said this was? This was 98. <laughs> I was I was 17 years old in Hagerstown, Maryland. This was 98. Okay. So... These are some, some crip niggas from Brownsville. So these niggas is out there, they robbing shit, sticking shit up, robbing everybody. You from New York, you from wherever you from, you know what I'm saying? There was a lot of New York niggas out there, all of niggas, Queens niggas, Bronx niggas, Brooklyn niggas. There was some kids that I was on the island with previous before me going out there, and them niggas was out there. I saw them out there. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Small world. So I'm out there with out there kicking it doing my little thing and shit so it's these other kids out there and shit I used to kick it with them whatever whatever Ooh, they was from New York they was from Harlem too whatever so I'm kicking it with them niggas so then I'm like yeah I'm about to go over here and get something to eat whatever whatever so I'm walking over across the street to get something to eat and these niggas just jumped out boo, 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 boo. yo woo, 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 woo. like stuck these kids up same same kids these Brownsville kids they was just like robbing everybody from mainly from Harlem but they was getting people from New York he was from New York they was getting they was crooks too so the word was out like yo it's these kids out here woo, 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 woo. they doing this doing that so mind you you know, the whole time, I'm I'm young, so I ain't thinking about them, you know, I'm just out there doing my thing, you know what I'm saying, trying to get what I got to get, whatever, whatever, fucking with the bitches out there, whatever, going to the mall, getting fresh, whatever, woo, because I'm on my own now, I see them, whatever, whatever, yo, what's up, woo, 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 I kick it with the niggas, whatever, you know, and then I just go about my business and shit, I'm switching up, going to hotels, fucking the bitches, going to bitches' houses and all that shit out there, you know, because you got to move around out of town, right, so... I was out there one night and shit, you know, we chilling and shit, you know, the block is live, you know what I'm saying, so niggas is out there gambling and shit, but this in the daytime, niggas, the block is live, niggas out there gambling and shit, so one night we gambling and shit, you understand, I mean, the day we gambling and shit, the police, these niggas just come out of nowhere, <laughs> lock niggas up for whatever, whatever, the peace and shit, and gambling in public, so illegal gambling in public and shit, so they let me go, I wasn't gambling, because they ain't seen me throw, throw no dice to none, so the kid that bought me out there, they seen him throw the dice, whatever, whatever, they locked you, they locked them up, mind you, son was, son was on federal parole, because he just came home a few months ago, from doing an out of town bid somewhere in and PA and he just came home from federal parole he was home like 8-9 months he did a nickel bag and he was only home for 8-9 months but son had it he knew some niggas that had it and he had it right so he got locked up out there his bail was like 700 it was like a little misdemeanor so he like nah that shit ain't gonna get back to cause you know he's from New York so you're not supposed to be out there you're not supposed to be catching no cases period so we out there and shit, so one night, you know, nigga bailed out and shit, so he like, yo, you wanna, 
you fucking with us tonight, yeah, we're going to the spot. So it was, it was a little club, little country club out there and shit, you know, hip hop, R&B shit. So we go to the club and then one night, woo, 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 so we in there one night and niggas is partying, whatever, whatever. It was, it was a bitch out there that, you know, had a little fat ass and shit, but her sister used to be setting niggas up with them crook niggas from Brooklyn. But one of the kids that I was out there with, he was fucking the bitch. So one night we in there, whatever, whatever, woo, 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 we kicking it and shit. No niggas is drinking, niggas dancing and shit, fresh, you know, fucking with the bitches. Then the niggas just came in there. So then, nigga in there and shit, whatever, whatever, nigga get into it, oh, them, these niggas get into it with these Brooklyn niggas over the bitch, whatever, whatever, like, yo, woo, 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 shit. They was from Staten Island. They was from Staten Island, New York. They was from Park Hill. Ooh, you know ooh, what I'm shit. saying? These bitches was from Staten Island. They was from Park Hill. But the bitch was older. The bitch that they was beefing over was older. But the, her little sister, she was a crit. And she was she was a, a, a bad, she was a little pretty ass bitch. She was a crit. And she used to be setting niggas up with them crip niggas out there like yo this nigga out here he got this da, 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 whatever right so niggas and, and make a long so make a long story short niggas end up beefing over the girl in the club making the scene and all that so niggas like yo whatever woo 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 alright whatever niggas bounce in the club niggas like yo niggas gotta get that nigga whatever whatever woo 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 like yo niggas gotta get that nigga so I'm like yo word niggas gotta get that nigga whatever so then a couple of days later in the daytime and shit, me and my peoples, we out there and shit, we selling, doing our little thing and shit. So one of the niggas that was out there with my man's name, he had some niggas out there. So I was like mentoring them, showing them niggas the block, how to get money. So one night we out there, we out, I'm out there with his niggas mentoring them and he pull up and me and him kicking it. Then two of the stick up kids from Brownsville, them niggas come walking past it's broad daylight the niggas come walking past by the church niggas grilling niggas face fighting niggas smiling and shit so one of the new niggas he brunk out there nigga like yo what the fuck you looking at to the kids and it was like yo what the nigga was like yo what the fuck you looking at little nigga backed out nigga had the four pound so nigga backed out the four pound on the Brooklyn niggas like yo what's up nigga niggas was just looking oh I, I, I. niggas kept walking so I looked at them niggas like, yo, y'all niggas know it's on, right? Y'all ain't used that. Yo, it's on. Y'all niggas know it's on, right? It's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> so then after that, you know, a couple of days go by. Niggas is out there chilling. Nothing ain't happening. Niggas is just getting money, chilling, fucking with the bitches, you know, chilling. So then one night, it was this one particular night, I'm out there and shit. The projects out there on Jonathan Street is called Bethel Gardens. I was on Bethel and Murph. I was I was standing right there on Bethel and Murph. It was me, this girl. It's a sign called Bethel Gardens. So we standing on 57th and Murph right there. It's the little projects out there called Bethel Gardens. We standing right there, me, this girl, and this other girl. So me and this girl, we over there and shit. We talking, we kicking it, whatever, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. I fucked a little bitch or whatever, but we over there, we talking, we kicking it. Woo, 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 woo. And then I see the kid, I see the kid, he come through in the, in the, in the Buick, like a, Bu- a Buick Riviera or Riata, one of them type shits. And I look at the nigga like, oh shit. So I go to, I go around the corner and I tell him niggas like, yo, son, son is, son just roll past and whatever, whatever. It's like, oh, word, I right. niggas was like, all right, we, niggas was gripped, they was gripped up. So they like, all right, whatever. So, I'm walking back over there to talk to the girl. We kicking it over there for like 10, 15 more minutes. I see this nigga walking past. Nigga walking now on foot. I'm looking like, oh shit. And I, it wasn't, it wasn't, I couldn't be like, yo, woo, woo, woo. It, it wasn't none of that. You know what I'm saying? Cause n- nigga probably would have started clapping at me. So as soon as the kid, he looked at me too. Nigga looked at me, he had gold fronts, short light skin nigga with gold fronts. So he looked at me too. He had the a nautical sweatsuit on. He had both legs rolled up. He had the grip. He had the joints on. Nine eight joints. Black and blue shits. Black do rag. I can never forget. So they were standing in front of this little cookout shit called JR's. So they standing in front of the little spot called JR's and shit. 
Yo, as soon as the kid hit the corner, them shit started going off. Boop, 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 boop. It was like three guns going off. His gun, two other niggas' gun. As I found out the story later. So it's mad shots going off. Boop, 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 boop. So we run up the hill. I'm like, oh shit. Niggas just letting off. So niggas come to find out that the kid got hit like three times, but son ain't died. Niggas just like, oh shit. Whatever, 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 whatever. So niggas like Who got niggas hit the hill. Who got the shit? Hit? Who got hit? The light skinned kid with the fronts or the kid that nah, got the light skinned kid with the fronts. The light skinned kid from, with the fronts from Brooklyn, he got hit like two, three times. So where they were standing at, you can just run up the hill to the next street. So they ran up the hill to the next street, got picked up, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, yo, I was running this shit, so I'm like, damn, where them niggas, I knew where they was at. So, boom, we went to the hotel, I, I jumped in the cab and met them at the hotel, mind you. When I catch the cab from this little bitch house that I was fucking with, because I ran to her house in front of her building, I ain't knock on her door, I just called the cab from her house, because I knew where the kids was at. So, I called the cab, jumped in the cab, when they was going past the block, that shit was hot. Taped up, whatever, whatever. That shit was hot. Bad country police out there. They wear yellow and black. Hagerstown PD, they wear yellow and black. So, the block is hot now. So, I'm out there. And shit. So, the next, so I catch up with the kids, like, yo, whatever, like, yo, whatever, whatever. And it's like, yeah, man, niggas hit that nigga, whatever. But they, like, yo, nigga, drop the grip. So, niggas had to go back later on, five, six in the morning, pick up the grip, whatever. Woo, 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 get rid of the shit. So, niggas is back to normal. Like, now, niggas is back out there, whatever. Niggas is back out there hustling. So, now, the block is like on fire because they trying to find out what really happening. So, me being young, not paying attention and not being like, yo, you know what? Let me pack my shit the fuck up and go to New York. Just go back home because this shit is over out here. The town is hot. So, as days go by, I'm watching niggas that was getting major money out there that had major flow. These niggas is getting knocked day by day, locking him up, locking him up, locking him. Niggas is getting knocked left and right. So me being young, like, nah, fuck that, whatever, whatever, I'm staying out here, you know what I'm saying? I was getting, I had a little money. So I'm like, so the day's getting, going by, going by. So then one day there was this kid out there that I was really cool with, me and him was like, cool. He was from New York too, he was from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? He was from, I'm gonna tell you what projects he was from right now. He was from, um, he was from, damn, I'm gonna tell you what projects he was from right now. I know the name of these projects, they, these shits is just, I just not I'm familiar with Brooklyn but not at projects. Um Wickers, Wickers. Wyckoff? Wyckoff. Wyckoff. He was from Wyckoff Projects. He was from Wyckoff. Mm. I keep saying Wickers, Wyckoff. He was from Wyckoff Projects. So me and him was cool. So one day me and him out there on the block, you know what I'm saying? Niggas making little sales, whatever, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. So then I'm like, yo, I'm out, yo. I'm about to go. I'm about to go whatever, whatever. I, I forgot. I went somewhere, so I'm like, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm about to lay low for a minute. Woo. I went to this bitch crib on the block. You know, nigga, I just go up in her crib, smoke weed and shit. She was cool. I'm still in contact with her to this day. You heard? So, me and this 25 years later, me and her still in contact to this day. You know, but anyway, make a long story short, we used to go up to her crib, smoke weed and shit, whatever, kick it, whatever, whatever. So then one day, I'm chilling up in her crib and shit. We smoking and shit, whatever. So I'm like, yo, damn. Let me go. Let me go outside. So I go outside. I'm about to walk. I'm. A, I see Pike out there on the block. I'm about to walk to the nigga. As soon as I'm about to walk to the nigga, the D's niggas just smash that nigga. Bing, come in. Our country D's, out of town D's, narcotics. They just snatch that nigga like, boom, come in. Woo, niggas locked them up. So I'm like, damn, son, niggas locked up pipe, whatever, whatever. So I went, I went to this, I, I went to this bitch house that I was messing with. So me and her, we talking and shit, whatever, whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go back to New York, yo, fuck this shit, yo, niggas getting knocked left and right. I'm about to go back to New York. So I count what I had left. I had like 80, 80 20s left. I had like 80 20s left and like $2,000. So I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go back to New York. Fuck this shit. So whatever I got, I just got. And I'm going to just do what I got to do in New York. So boom, I'm chilling and shit. So it was this other bitch that I was messing with too. So it was this other bitch out there. I was messing with her. But she ain't living in Hagerstown. 
she lived in West Virginia in a little in in a, in a town called Marsburg, West Virginia. That's like 30, 40 minutes, maybe 50 minutes away from Hagerstown. So as I'm leaving this bitch crib, I see this bitch. She was from a little projects out there called Robert Gardens. You know what I'm saying? Robert Gardens in West Virginia. That's a little projects out there in Marsburg. Make a long story short. So she pulls up on the block. She she was she was she was cool. She had a little bullshit job out there. She had a little money. She had a little F-150. You know what I'm saying? She had a pickup out there and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because in West Virginia, snow a lot of shit. So make a long story short. She come to the block like, yeah, you coming to the spot tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm coming here, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, all right, man, I see you there, whatever. So I go to I go upstairs and shit. I mean, I go to the hotel and shit where I have my shit at. Ooh. I'm like, yeah, let me go buy an outfit. I go to the mall, get some Tim's and shit. You know what I'm saying? This is when um, Eddie Bauer was the style and shit. I went and got some Eddie Bauer corduroys and knitted sweater, a, 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 a jacket, Little skelly to match because it was cold at this time. It was December, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna rock this tonight. Boom. So I, I guess the shit, whatever. Comes back to the hotel, whatever. Do my little thing, smoke a little bit. Then after that, I'm like, yo, fuck this. Let me go to the block. So I go to the block and shit. Boom. I'm chilling on the block. Yo, bro, on hold on block. one second. One second. Let me just save this because I'm nervous. Rolling again. All right. So you said you on the block. Let me know when you're ready, yep. Yeah, we rolling. All right, so I'm on the block. So after I come from the hotel and shit, I go to the block, I smoke and shit, chill, watch a little TV. So I go to the hotel and shit. I mean, um, I leave the hotel and shit. I come to the block, call the cab. The hotel, it's a, it's a little, it, the hotel was a little bullshit. Super 8, it was on Dual Highway. Niggas from Hagerstown, they know where Dual Highway is. It was on Dual Highway. They had a little mask on store on Dual Highway where you could get your jackets and all that shit. But make a long story short, I leave the hotel and shit. So, boom. I leave the hotel, whatever, go to the block and shit. So, I'm on the block and shit. I'm out there for like 10, 15 minutes making some sales and shit, whatever. So, I see this nigga Country. Country was a well-known Hagerstonian. He was from there. You know, he was like one of the first crackheads ever out there in Hagerstown. Everybody knew Country. So, Country, me, I'm like, yo, Country, what's up, man? Whatever, whatever. Me, he's kicking it. So, I'm like, all right, whatever. So, Country, he was, he ran me a few people. He ran me like five, six people real quick, boom. So, he ran me like five, six people, so... There was people that I knew that I used to go see. So I'm like, y'all be back. So it was a couple of people I jumped because, you know, them niggas like to come in cars and drop you and you get dropped off around the corner or whatever. So like two people came, nigga jumped in. I jumped in the nigga whip, went around the car. <clears throat> I mean, jumped in the car, made a sale, come back to the block. So now when I come back to the block, I'm walking. I'm on Jonathan Street, right? So I'm walking. I see this nigga. I'm walking. Nigga country like yo come here and he, he I'm like he like yo come here so I goes to the nigga country he gets in the car him big white nigga right so I gets in the back seat so the nigga country I'm like yo I, I'm like yo who this country so he like yo this my man right here yo he wants something so my so anyway I tell you so he like y'all want something so he wants something so I'm like I yo what your man want country he like yo I want two so I'm like I I get a nigga two. Bam. So I get a nigga to two. I get out the car. I had one left. So I'm like, yo, head country. I gave him one because he looked out like, yo, head. Gave the nigga one. So I'm like, yo, you know what? Let me go to the stash and get some more. So as I'm walking in the process of me walking to the stash, I'm walking to the stash, boom. Because you can't have a lot of shit on you out there because the niggas, they go for you. Because a lot of niggas out there from New York, they put the cracks in the mouth. Your mouth, so they they be trying to choke you and shit, and make you spit that shit up like the cops for real. So I go to the stash, get a couple more shit, boom, come back, whatever. Country still in the car with the nigga. So then I'm chilling, whatever. I walk past the car, come back, boom. So now as I'm walking to the end of Jonathan Street, I see two niggas on pedal bikes, and the niggas on it because that's how they bust you out there the niggas be coming on pedal bikes so I look up the hill between Prospect and Japan and I think that's Bethel I see two motherfucking police on pedal bikes trying to ride down the hill and I know I just made a sale so I looked at the niggas last year I started running 
off on them niggas, niggas jumped off the bike and all that, started chasing me, my nigga, I'm like, oh shit, so I'm running, Ooh, ran like two, three blocks, I got rid of the cracks, but I, I still had the money on me, I've been done through, the, I done been done skipping shits out and running motion, so I, I'm running this shit, I got rid of the work, so boom, I start running this shit, I see the niggas is on my ass, so I run through the, like, the, they got like a, uh, a U.S. postal parking lot and it got no gates and shit because it's a country ass town so I'm running through the parking lot and shit ran through so I end up on one of them one of them downtown blocks because Hagerstown Jonathan Street was like a little bit downtown because the courthouse and all that shit was over there so I, I, I stopped running and I start walking I'm like yo I gotta get to this payphone so I call the cab and shit so in the process of me running I mean in the process of me running I start walking these niggas just came out of nowhere. The niggas just snatched, boop, 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 locked me up. The niggas locked me up, put me in the car, brought me all the way back to where they locked me up at, took a picture, and drove me to the precinct. So, as these niggas is in the process, they driving me to the precinct and shit. So, I'm going to the precinct and shit. These niggas locked me up. So, I'm like, what the fuck y'all niggas locking me up for? They're like, yo, you made a distribution of a narcotic. So, out there, they don't call it direct sale. They call it distribution of a narcotic. So, I'm like, man, I ain't got nothing, man, whatever. So, then, the niggas looked at the money. They had to copy, like, a copy machine of the same money that I had, just like in New York, a direct sale. You know, so, nigga, like, nah, we got you. We got the same money. It was a $20 bill. So I'm like, fuck, I'm like this, damn. So the niggas told me, I didn't know Marilyn Law. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna give these niggas a fake name because I don't want to give my name my real name. So I'm thinking the law like New York, you know, you make a little direct sale, this your first time getting busted, you come home or all not. So I just busted this shit, I give these niggas a fake name and that age and all that. Mind you, I'm 17. I told them niggas I was 19. So the niggas locked me up, whatever, whatever. So process me, whatever, whatever. So mind you, when the niggas did lock me up, son, the niggas dragged me on my face and shit because the nigga jumped on my back and did some old crazy shit, whatever. So nigga, like, patted, patted my face up and I ain't need no stitches. It was just showing, like, paint me. So they like, yeah, we play rough out here, don't we? Police nigga. They like, yeah, we play rough out here, don't we? I'm like, nigga, y'all niggas don't play rough, nigga. New York nigga, niggas with the <laughs> niggas, cause I was tight. You heard? Cause I was tight. I'm like a New York nigga. Just clap one of y'all niggas. Nigga tried to slap me. I ducked. Nigga tried to slap me. I ducked. Fool, nigga you grabbed me. I tried to throw me on the wall and shit. Whatever. Fake tough police shit. Country police shit. So after that, you know, I, 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 I'm calm now. So I'm sitting in the cell and shit. Whatever. Niggas come. They want to fingerprint me. Ask me my name and shit. Whatever, whatever, I get these niggas a fake name or whatever. So then the cop like, yeah, we locked up a lot of people from New York, yeah. We locked up a lot of people, so the niggas showing me the book. So like these all the New York niggas we caught. So I'm looking through the book. I see two niggas from New York that I knew personally that got caught out there. I'm like, oh shit. But one of them just got caught like three months ago. And he my age. So I'm like, oh shit, no wonder I ain't see because he was from the west side of Harlem. I'm from the east side, but that was my man. He used to live on my mom's block on the west side. So me and him used to be cool and shit. He used to come to the east side, come fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Cool nigga, stay fresh. That was my son. So he used to come over there. So I'm like, oh, no wonder I ain't see this nigga in a minute because he was locked up out here. But they was telling me he was locked up out of town, but I didn't know where. And all of a sudden, he was locked up. I mean, he got caught out there in Hagerstown with this other kid. So we in there and shit. So I'm telling them niggas, my name is Woo Woo Woo. I'm 19. So I, so they take me to the jail, county jail. Hagerstown is Washington County. So they take me to the county jail and shit. So I get in the county jail and shit. I'm like in the reception part, whatever, whatever. So I'm kicking it in there with niggas and shit. So, so. Nigga like, yo, son, what's up? Yo, what up? I'm like, yo, what up? Niggas like, yo, what you in here for? I'm like, selling shit. Like, word, you got called for a distribution? I'm like, yeah. Nigga like, yo, son. Nigga like, yo, son. Niggas like, yo, son, your bell gonna be like 50,000, nigga. I'm like, what? They like, yeah, nigga, distribution, selling crack, nigga. It's real out here, nigga. Out of that nickel bag, nigga. You might do a two and a half piece, three piece. I'm like, I'm like a three piece. I'm like, what? 
So I'm in there, I'm like, ah, right, fuck it. So I'm going through the system and shit, and niggas, you know, whatever, talking and shit. So I get some new jail and shit. So then I tell the CEO, I see the police. I'm like, yo, nigga, I'm not 19, nigga. I'm 17. My name is woo 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 woo. Like, oh, what? Oh, all right. So then they put me, because out there in the state of Maryland, you got to commit a real vicious crime out there in the state of Maryland to go to a jail. So, like, from 13 to, like, 19, you consider the juvenile, right? So, 18, maybe. So, anyway, nigga, you got to do some real shit to get sent to, like, they state prison as far as, like, Jessup and Hagerstown State Prison and Roxbury and all that shit. Um, that's they state prisons out there. I think it's called Roxbury, something like that. But I know Jessup and Hagerstown is like one of their main two prisons out there. You know what I'm saying? To make a long story short, so I guess so they they rearrest me. You know what I'm saying? Put charge me as a juvenile and shit. So I'm like, yo, them niggas don't get bailed. It's like New York. They like, nah, they don't give no bail. You got to do straight time. So I'm like, damn, son, fuck, I'm fucked. So I'm like, I right, bet. So I call, I call my family and shit, tell them, like, yo, I'm locked up out of town, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Call my aunt. You know, she let me, she notify my moms and shit. So I had to go to court on a certain day and shit. And my moms and my step pops, they, they, they took the wrong route. So if my moms and my father, when I went to court that first time, they would have let me go because they ain't really had all my information. They ain't know that me and my cousin, we got caught with the, with some hammers in New York, and I got eight months on Rikers Island and all that shit. And they would have never knew that because my my paperwork when it came back, so it when it came back by then. So then I goes, I guess. Um, so then I go see the judge. They like, yo, you come back to court February nine nine. And I'm like, damn, I'm in this bitch for Christmas and New Year's because I got busted right before Christmas and New Year's. I got busted December tenth, nineteen ninety eight. So I just busted I'm like damn I'm in this bitch For New Year's and Christmas I'm tight So make a long story short So I'm in there and shit Whatever So I'm in there <laughs> So now they like Yeah you gotta go To Juvenile Holding So mind you The Juvenile Holding Was on Jonathan Street On Jonathan Street Where you look out the window Juvenile Holding You look in the alley You see niggas busting Crack cells and all that shit Whatever LAZ, I'm in Spanish Harlem. Quick story. Quick story about Spanish Harlem. So check it, right? If you don't know the if you don't know the demographics of Spanish Harlem, it's a lot of Puerto Ricans, a lot of blacks, and a lot of blacks mixed with Puerto Ricans like myself. And if you don't know about blacks mixed with Puerto Ricans, we the realest black motherfuckers in the world. But anyway, and the realest Puerto Rican motherfuckers in the world. But anyway. Now, I mean, I was helping one of my mans move one day from one part of Harlem to the next part of Harlem. All right, don't run me over, my nigga. The fuck? I was helping my mans move from one part of Harlem to the next part of Harlem. So I was dropping him off in Spanish Harlem. You understand what I'm saying? With his property and stuff like that. This my bro, L Power. It's my bro L Power that I was in green with. You heard? So when L Power used to come to my crib, sometimes we turned them on. We was all vegetarians in the team at the time. You heard the whole pot is filled, my whole team indictment. We was on some vegetarian, militant, guard body shit. You heard? So when L Power used to come to my crib, we turned them on to a Chinese meal that we used to eat on a regular basis, and that was broccoli and garlic sauce. You feel me? Just straight is a dish on every Chinese restaurant's menu called broccoli and garlic sauce. And if you're a vegetarian, that's one of the best meals you can have. Now I get broccoli and garlic sauce with fried bean curd, which is tofu. But um, at the time, we was just busting down that broccoli and garlic sauce, you heard? So we put El Power on to broccoli and garlic sauce. He start coming, even though he not a vegetarian, he would come through, yo, what's up with that broccoli and garlic sauce? And we'd be busting that down, right? So this day, when I was dropping this dude off to um, East Harlem, 
Spanish Harlem. He tells me, yo, son, word to my mother, son. Word to my mother, son. Is a Chinese restaurant over here. Niggas make the best broccoli and garlic sauce you ever had in your life, son. I was like, yo, I don't know, bro. And I mean, these dudes on Dykeman, you know, they kind of perfected the art of broccoli and garlic sauce. So I'm not even going to tamper with, you feel me, where I get me. He's like, yo, son, I'm telling you, you got to try these niggas. These niggas is different, son. I'm telling you, this shit is the best broccoli and garlic sauce I ever had. Now, let me make one point. Black niggas, a lot of black niggas that live in Spanish Harlem, they done got a little Spanish, Spanish ties. You heard? Like, if you meet black motherfuckers from Spanish Harlem, a lot of these niggas don't eat nothing but Spanish food. You heard? Niggas black as a motherfucker, but niggas don't eat nothing but rice and beans and chicken from the from the Spanish spot. Yeah, son is like, nah, son, I'm telling you, you gotta try these dudes out. It's two, three blocks down from here. Boy, I forgot which projects I was dropping son in. But it was two, three blocks down from that piece. So he said, yo, it's right here on this corner of 100 and something sun, such street. Now, I mean, all you got to do, he like, I'm telling you, you go in, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, man, I'm going to go check it out because I'm type hungry anyway. He said, I'm telling you, son, watch. Call me when you taste these dudes broccoli and garlic sauce. I guarantee you, you ain't going to want to fuck with no other broccoli and garlic sauce. So I'm like, all right. So I drive down a couple of blocks. I see the spot that he talking about. First and foremost, this was a Chinese restaurant, but it looked like a Spanish restaurant. So I'm like, yo, what type of Chinese restaurant is this? Like, I come up in the spot, you don't see the kitchen. It ain't no Chinese restaurant that you go in where you don't see the kitchen. So I don't see the kitchen. I'm like, bro, what type of Chinese restaurant is this? I come up in there, I'm like, this the Chinese restaurant? These dudes got Spanish workers and all of that working in the spot. These dudes got like two Chinese people in there and the rest Spanish workers. I come up in there, I'm like, this the Chinese restaurant? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, um, can I get an order of broccoli and garlic sauce? I got broccoli and garlic sauce, no kitchen. Son goes in the back, tells them, yo, broccoli and garlic sauce. It's like a Spanish restaurant, be in the back the kitchen be in the back so i'm like yo i never seen no shit like this in my life a spanish restaurant i mean a chinese restaurant that you don't see the kitchen you feel me so i'm waiting so these dudes bring me my order i pay for it i hop in the whip i drive another couple of blocks down i pull over i say yo let me try this man let me eat this and i mean i find a little parking spot bust my joint open now as soon as i bust my joint open poof Little aroma came out. Familiar aroma. I couldn't put my finger on it just right then and there. I was like, smells like something I know, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. So, bust the fork out. I start digging into the broccoli and garlic sauce. I'm eating it. Funny little taste, man funny little taste i'm like what's this funny little taste like why am i tasting spanish herbs and spices like why do i feel like i'm eating yellow rice and beans right now bro i hit the light on in my car Bloop. i said yo what's this first of all i'm biting at the broccoli i'm biting into little little crunchy little seasonings so i'm like what's this grainy little seasoning that i'm biting into I hit the light, I look down at my broccoli and garlic sauce. Son, these niggas put sasson on my broccoli and garlic sauce. Niggas bust open a pack of sasson and sprinkle that shit on my Chinese broccoli and garlic sauce, my nigga. I said, hold on, hold the fuck on. I looked at that shit closely. I see the sasson swimming in the garlic sauce, orange sasson swimming in the garlic sauce. I said, yo, these niggas violated me, my nigga. 
What the fuck is this? Nah, son, y'all too Spanish out out here in Spanish Harlem. Where y'all putting Sassoon and Spanish seasonings inside Chinese food, bro. Son, y'all putting Spanish seasonings inside Chinese food, son. What, what the fuck is wrong with y'all, bro? Son, I was traumatized. I called my man. I said, yo, you, I said, yo, you, you was trying to play a joke on me or something? He like, what? What you talking about? You ain't got that brag? I said, yeah, I went and got that shit, bro. I said, this shit is disgusting, my nigga. He said, son, come on, son. You hating, son. You hating. I said, nah, nigga. This shit got sass on in it, nigga. Orange sprinkled out the packet. Sass on, my nigga, in the Chinese food. He's, he like, yo, son, that shit delicious like that, son. That shit is delicious. I said, son. I said, bro, real talk, my nigga. You been living in Spanish Harlem too long, my nigga. I said, nigga, I don't want no sass on in my Chinese food. Are you crazy? Said, son, I'm good, son. I can't fuck with you. I can't fuck with your, I can't fuck with your tasting things anymore, son. You bugging, you thugging and bugging out here. But yeah, man, this is a true story. You can't make this shit up. So from after that, so after that, I said, listen, I'm not ordering shit in Spanish Harlem unless it's Spanish food, nigga. Niggas might be putting sasson on the pizza for all we know. Like, I'm just good, my nigga. Hurt? But yeah, so that shit fucked me up, bro. Ain't nothing more disgusting than some non-cooked sasson crunching into some non-cooked sasson. You heard? Shout out to my bro, Pow Wow. That nigga had me laughing when we was up north. And he was in the same dorm with the nigga VI. And the nigga was like, son, I got to get out of here, son. I'm son, I'm son, cook game, man. Son, just sprinkling sasson over the rice, son. I got to get out of here. Nigga sprinkling sasson on the mat with some water, son. Putting it in the microwave. I, you got it, son. Get me to your dorm, son. Get me to K2. That shit had me crying. That shit, that nigga wasn't laughing at all. He like, son, I'm starving, son. This nigga is sprinkling uncooked sasson on the mat, son. But yo, yeah, man. Shout out to the bro El Power, though. Shout out to the whole Harlem, the whole East Harlem, Spanish Harlem. You heard? I'm out here, man. Z-Man, Suicide Polo. Check this interview. Check this interview from an uptown Decepticon and Rico Con. <laughs> See, a lot of dudes don't know that there is Decepts from uptown. No, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? They don't know that. No. So you said when you went to print and dudes was trying to, dudes was trying to ask you questions and stuff? Yeah, actually where I was from. You know, you know, just trying to, you know, uh, not trying to size me up, but they want to see, you know, from what bro I was repping. Mm. I'm repping East Harlem. So yeah, you know, there was slight tension, but the big tension was actually beef with blacks and Puerto Ricans or blacks and Puerto Ricans against the Dominicans. That was the real tension at that time, from 87 to, I can say, you can say about 91, 92. And at that time, they was beefing with Park West? We was beefing a lot with Park West. Uh, we was beefing with Washington. We was beefing with, uh, we was beefing a lot of schools. We knew Richmond was getting beefed at. Mm. We was beefing at Richmond. And was it Rico Cons yet at that time? Yeah, we was Rico Cons at that time. So we you was, said it was different legions in graphics, so a lot of we, so we not every D set was getting along. Well, we were getting along, but we had this uh, we had this thing that we like to uh, test each other out to see, you know, where our, where we stand, mm. heart wise. So it was it was it was tension, but it wasn't like the, that hateful tension because remember we we had class with each other, mm. we had love for each other, and half of us. Knew each other from the neighborhood, so it wasn't like that deep tension. It was just, just you know, that you know, that, that we have tension with, with brother or sister. Mm. Yeah, that's just uh, really tension. It wasn't that serious, but being from uptown, how did you even become Decepticon in the first place? And what year was that when you became Decepticon? In '88. Mm. 
88, I'm BK, in Grand Fix. In Grand you got like, the dudes put you on. What legion was that? Rico Cars. One of my boys I had gym with, I ain't even was down with, with that. And uh, we got close and shit playing b-ball a lot in gym. And he, he asked me to come, come chill with him. And we went, put, we went to the diner. Mm. And 49th Street, that's what most of the cars they are in Chile. And when I met them, I, you know, we're chilling with them every day. I, I, you know, morning, lunch, and after school. And then 88 is like, they asked me if I want, and if I want to get down, you know, I had to look for a victim to rob. And that was it. So you had to rob something to get up into, yeah. for the initiation? And it was, it was, it was like hard for me because I, I was in the track team. So mm. it's like, it, it ain't like, these, you know, these cats could outrun me on the cops then. <laughs> I mean, I was wearing like about a buck, I was like a uh, buck 50, buck 49 wet. Mm. Slim, 25. So it, it, was, it was harmless fun. That's why I try to spend these John Kelly. What we did was harmless fun, not compared to what, what I've been witnessing now, this so-called generation, what they be doing. It's a fact. Bro, you know what I mean? We out here, you feel me? Gen Pop gang, we everywhere, we in East Harlem. This is proof right here, Rico Cons was in the building. Uptown Decepticons was in the building. Rico was mostly drunk in Manhattan. We had some cats from Queens and Brooklyn. But most of it was the Bronx. We I heard it was some on um, Brandeis too. I heard. I don't know how true that is. Like some Rico cons and Decepticons. Well, we had. Some... I mean, I mean, we did spread around. Mm. I mean, at one time we, we had we heard there was some group that would call themselves uh, in Washington uh, Rico bots. That was the funny shit. In Washington, Irving. Yeah, it's a fake ass order bot. But they want to be called Rico. Uh, they want to call themselves Rico bots. <laughs> Some bum ass Autobots. But it was funny. It was, you know, it was, to me, it was just a joke. Let me ask you a question, though. Did you ever run into somebody that was really claiming Autobots? Yeah. Because I heard it was Autobots in Automotive High School. There that was used to Autobots. There was Autobots in, in uh, to my understanding, I heard there's Autobots in Rice High School. Mm. Uh, Autobots in, uh, to my understanding, also I heard Kings. High school, those older bus I found out. Matter of fact, after high school, it was in 93, 94. One of my best friends that went to Rice, he was an older bus. Mm. And, you know, I told him who I was. It was, it was, like, it was nothing, you know. I mean, if you was an Autobot out there, you was claiming Autobot, and you got some stories about Autobots versus Decepticons, I want to hear about them, you heard? Because that's a lost history in the town about these Autobots that I heard about. I was hearing about Matter them fact, in 90 and 91. I bumped into an Autobot back in 2013, up in East Harlem, working in a, he's working in a, a shoe spot. And I walked through my decent pad, and we were just laughing, talking about, oh shit. 